right, so we're going to carry on discussing these line tools, but let's just clear up our drawing area a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'm going to say select all. That selects all of the objects in the drawing, okay? And then if I wanted to, I could go and change their color, all of them, into one color. So you can globally change multiple selected objects, or you could say select all, and then you could say clear them, and just delete it, and then now we've got a clean plate, okay? So what I want to talk about next is the polyline tool, which is consistent there's a big difference between the two line tools. So if I've just drawn that line and now I go V and there and select it, it looks like it's a continuous line. Whereas if I was to draw with that with the polyline, okay, and then right click and choose finish, even though the visual appearance between these two things is the same, they are in fact very different because this is one line and that's another line and this is a continuous line. Another way we can see this very clearly is by using this edit tool over here. And then we can select that. You can see that's a, got a starting point and an ending point. And this line has got a starting point and an ending point. Whereas this line has got a starting point, a middle point, and an ending point. And I can actually go and add extra little points in here. I can right click and say add a node. And now you see I've got a little break in there. And I can do the same to this side. And I can right click and I can say add node. And so now you can see it's a continuous polyline. Whereas this one I'd have to do it individually on each specific line. You see I can move that line. And now you can see how you can move those things. So I'm going to start off by drawing the beginning at the end of this line, so I'll move on to that line and I'll press my V key for vertex. So now it's down there. Now I'm thinking at the bottom here you can see it says define the next point of the polyline or polygon. So now what is the next point? How do I define the next point? Uh, in this case I'm going to use the length and angle. So I'm going to tab down to the length here, I'm going to type in 5, I'm going to tab down to the angle and I'm going to type in minus 30. That means it's 30 degrees below the horizontal. Then I'll hit enter. And now it asks me for my next point. What is the next point? So the next point I'm going to use, I'm going to define it by typing in the uh, value here in the X, which is 5 and 5, and then for the Y field, and then I'll hit enter. And you can see from the rulers that that would be where the X would be 5, and this would be where the Y would be 5. So I started off in vertex, I then tabbed to the inspector bar to get that distance. Now the next point, I, I use the coordinates down here at the bottom, and then the next point I'm going to use a snap mode. So I'll turn my snap modes on, and now vertex and midpoint are active, so I can snap to the end of that to define the next point. Now the tool has got an interesting, even though this is part of the line tools, Part of the polyline tool is the ability to add in an arc segment. So I can then right click and come here and you can see now I can define an arc. So I can click there and then move on to the next arc segment. Let me right click and just choose finish for now. And let's go back to this edit tool and see what we've got here. So you can see this, is, this polyline has now been defined by all of these different nodes. And this is an arc node which defines the, the angle of the arc. And you can see as I'm clicking and moving this around, I can then go and choose the shape of the arc by moving these things around in the drawing. Clicking it over there. Again, it doesn't like that because I've got these snap modes on. So when I'm not interested in uh, any precision, I can use the S shortcut key. S is for snap or no snap. And you press S there and then it'll actually, it's a way of overriding the snap modes. You can just say, look, I'm not interested in any snap. Just put it there, S, and then it'll do it. Again, in this case, look, I'm, I'm just interested in the shape. I don't actually want to type in the figure down here. I don't want to enter delta. Uh, you see, you've got all of these precision tools so instead of typing that in, I just press S and it does it there. 
And if I want to, I can click that in there and then type in my delta of 1 and 1 and then hit enter and it moved it from there to there. So I've got a, a bunch of different options and then I can change the radius. You see I click down here, now I'm moving this, this guy around and I can tab down to the radius and type in 3 and hit enter and it changes the radius of that particular arc. Whereas this arc over here, you can see it's got a much bigger radius than this one over here. Okay, so you can individually control those arcs and arc circles and you can individually control the position of these things. So I've got to keep on pressing S over there. Okay.